Hey Geminis, welcome to your October 2020 general reading. This reading will be for Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And I'm going to do a past, present, and future reading, okay, for the month of October. So let's get started for my Geminis. If you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but I'm also a Gemini. My birthday is May 28th. Feel free to comment your birthdays down below in the comments section. Represent for Gemini gang, especially if you're my birthday twin. Definitely say hi down below. All right, let's get started. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of October 2020. Remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to look at your other sign videos to see if that resonates better. Universe, please give me three cards to represent the recent past, three cards to represent the present, and three cards to represent the future or possible outcome for the month of October 2020 for Gemini. Okay. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. <laughs> And I apologize for the sniffles. I have really bad allergies today. Judgment. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, the Empress. Okay. You guys are making some big decisions here in the past. Okay. Some of you are making decisions when it comes to your career. Um, when it comes to your future. When it comes to your energy or your investment. What are you investing in? Um whatever it is you're being given the opportunity to either grow in some kind of way here with the empress because the empress energy brings nourishment brings growth brings abundance okay um the way she's looking at this pentacle though it seems as if she's unsure but it seems like you've already made that decision okay you've made the decision that you want to invest in something you want to grow in something or, or put your energy into something um that you know has the potential to be very rewarding for you okay it's not easy for gemini to make a decision so good for you uh-huh there we go <laughs> in the present energy okay you have the four of cups you have the hair fit and you have the death card Okay, Geminis, that's why I was going to say it's very hard for Geminis to make a decision. Now we are kind of backpedaling here <laughs> on the decision that we made, okay? Let's see what the outcome is going to be and then I will clarify. Outcome is the Queen of Swords. That is our energy showing up strong. Uh-huh, Two of Swords and Two of Cups. Okay, Geminis. Let's move this over just a little bit so I have some space here and you can see all of the cards well. Okay, great. So, Geminis. What's happening here? We are in a state of what I call classic Gemini syndrome where we are going back and forth in our heads. We one minute feel very confident about a decision that we made and we're putting all our energy into it. We're being successful at it. And then we don't want it anymore. <laughs> right? Um, you know, the thing about Gemini sometimes, and I'm a Gemini, so, you know, maybe I'm just speaking for me. I don't want to speak for all Geminis. But what I notice is, like, we get very invested in something. And then we get very, just as quickly as we got like excited about something we lose interest just as quick okay um a lot of this seems to be happening for many of you either with a partnership like a relationship that you could be in um could be business related or it could be romantically related um for some of you it looks like you're doing very well in your career money's looking good for you guys you know you're not worried about that i always say gemini's are master manifestors okay we there's something very special about Gemini's. When we do something, we usually tend to be very successful at it, no matter what it is. The problem is we don't have, I, I don't want to say like the stamina. I don't know if that's the right word. We just don't have discipline or maybe you know whatever it is to keep, to pique our interest. It's like, we're very good at something and it's like, uh, okay, now it's boring. I don't want to do it anymore. 
but whatever we focus our energy into it usually turns out successful for us most of the time okay we do have that empress energy where like you know you give us a, a pot and a seed and we'll make a tree grow out of it you know what i mean but then after a while we'll stop taking care of the tree then the tree dies that that's kind of like the uh, metaphor i'm trying to give here either way it seems like for you guys you have these moments where you're very sure of yourself and then you have these moments where it's like ah uh, but it did i made the right choice is this right maybe you know you you guys are feeling that way likely about a relationship and i feel like the reason is because whatever it is that you're getting into it's going to require commitment right it's going to require you to make a choice that you can't come back from um i mean you can come back from it i mean death is here though so it's basically saying that once you enter into this union once you decide what cup you're gonna choose from here basically um it's going to bring major transformation and change into your life and that scares us as Geminis, you know. We like change. We like um, to evolve and grow. But we also like to have the options. It's like whatever it is that you're being presented with, it's life-changing. You have the judgment card, which talks about life-changing decisions. You have the death card, which talks about more transformation. Like transformation, like leaving something t in the past, dying and then rebirth like you know um it's, it's related with scorpio it's related with like the phoenix kind of energy where you know something dies but then something new is born in its place some of you may be scared let's clarify this some of you are a little scared or you're being hesitant when it comes to making a choice here now for the outcome it seems like whatever it is you you want this partnership you want this connection you want um whatever it is that you're investing your time in with someone you want it to grow you want it to be successful and it seems like you make that decision here but i think you're still in your head at times when it comes to it and you know that about yourself you're very clear i feel like you're very aware that you're doing this gemini that you're flip-flopping here and there you're going back and forth in your head but it's nothing new to us like we we just it, when it comes to big decisions in our lives or big things we are never satisfied with our first choice we always have to like think it over and over and over and over until we just drive ourselves crazy it's it's a really bad habit that we have um universe please tell me about let me tell me about this four of cups here please clarify the four of cups that was quick let's oh wow look at that judgment again and the star card judgment is here twice now many of you could, you'll be dealing with a taurus a scorpio okay an aquarius another air sign like yourself you it's like you're you're still muddling over the decision that you've already made and you're hoping, I think you're scared, you're hoping that this choice that you made is the right choice. You're hoping that it's going to be successful for you. And it seems like it here. Tell me about the two. Look at that. Even the nine of wands is here. Like you're stressed out about it. Tell me about the two of cups in the outcome. Tell me about the two of cups. Nine of wands flipping. Tell me about the, okay, three of wands is here. Whatever this connection is, it seems like it involves some sort of long distance and travel. Um, it's almost as if, for some of you Geminis, you've made a decision, but then you have that like, energy of but is there something better out there is this right for me is this what i want tell me more about the two of cups six of wands but see universe is, is, is reassuring you that this is successful 
what you have here, this connection that you have here, this decision that you made is going to lead you towards success. Don't fear it. Don't question it. Don't judge it. Yes, is it going to change your life in a dramatic way? Absolutely. But it's for the better here, it seems like. It's going to help you grow, Gemini. It's going to help you, you know, take a take a risk, take a leap of faith here. I'm getting that energy here. Like, take a risk. I know it seems scary. It seems, you know, like you are putting yourself in a position that you're scared if it doesn't work out for you that there's no way to turn it around in some kind of way with the death card here but it looks like you're moving toward deeper commitment you're moving toward um more adventures here in the future for yourself and success in your relationships and partnerships whether that be romantically or with other pe or you know with family friends peers co-workers like you're really shining in that element there where you're making deep connections it's successful as i said before gemini's you do have that that midas touch there where you know you've made this decision you were very enthusiastic about it but you're questioning it so what the universe is saying here is just to stick to stick by your gut stick by your choice stick by the decision that you made and don't let the transformation scare you don't let you know the changes make you second guess your decision every moment every turn of this adventure or you know whatever it is that you're pursuing here is not always going to be great there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be times where you have to cut people off or leave things behind or come out of your comfort zone. Change a little bit. And it's all going to be for the good. It's all going to make you a stronger, wiser, you know, person. And that's what we want. We always want to be better versions of ourselves. So I would say try to get out of your head a little bit, Gemini. Try to accept the path in life that you've chosen because I feel like you were the one who made this decision here now you got to kind of back it up a little bit or you know have faith universe wants you to have faith here that it's going to be all right you know it's going to be okay you are on the path you were meant to be on you have a lot of spiritual guidance around you you have the empress the hierophant around you okay and this is going to help you evolve for the better so I would say keep keep going, Gemini. Keep going forward. Don't let, you know, your doubts cloud your judgment. Stick to the path and be brave. Be brave and be ready. That's why she has her sword up. Because she's ready to take on any any obstacles that get in, in her way. And so are you. Alright, Gems? So I hope that this reading was able to give you some clarity for the month of October. If you would like to do a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below. It's JessReadsTarot.com, same as my YouTube name. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.